Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Nimrod and Lady Deathstrike in the arena. I have them both. So we're going to take a look at the leaderboards. I went for just the, you know, shards, uh, 11 to 30% kind of a thing. All right, so let's take a look here. And it must be the holidays because if you look at the bottom left, I only have a two. And there's a reason for that. And that's why. See the uh, rewards for Nimrod? Don't know yet. He didn't uh, come in. So let's look at uh, first the Lady Deathstrike. We got 6 to 10%, which is easier now. Wonder Wolf. And there's Laser John. Congratulations on that Lady Deathstrike. That's what's up, man. All right. All right, all right. Okay. Let's see, Penny Hunt, mm -mm. Kitten Fat, Mephisto, Dennis, Frog, uh, Glia, Froglia. I hope I didn't say anything bad. Braveheart, Freedom. That was a good movie too. Ghetto J, in the building. Eddie Von Rock. Fab, was it Fabric Fabricius Prod? Kid with the golden arms. I've got a golden ticket. Let's see what else we got. I wonder if um, the rank rewards will come in um, before we're finished with this. Merc with a mouth. We know who that is. You sure do, boy. Baba Yo. Let's see who else we got. So this lady Deathstrike, I don't know if you guys heard, but they reviewed her and they said that she's working as intended. Which is sad because I think her damage could have used a buff. But she is still decent as she is, still can do a lot of good work. But I guess where they wanted her is where she is. That's, that's fine. But I actually like Lady Deathstrike. And one of the fun things that I like to do is get hit with a special one or a two and let her heal it all the way back up. That is fun. But just keep in mind that if the specials have a damage over time component, don't do that. Don't do it. It is not a good time. Because I was sitting there doing that one time. I forgot who it was. But it was somebody that hit me and I was like, oh, yeah. And then my health just started draining. And I was like, what? Oh, no. Yeah. Last Zarnian. Congratulations, man. Wendell. Okay. Gravity. I remember they had um some show. What was it? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember which show it was, but um, I think it was Justice League uh, cartoon or something like that. And they had this guy away in the you know villain prison, and. He was one everybody feared, and apparently his power was gravity. And he attacked the Hulk with that gravity. Hulk just kept getting angrier and angrier, and they were like, wait, there's no way you should be able to even move. Yeah, Hulk did more than move. All right, there it is. I thought it might do that. So we got our 11 to 30%, got the uh, shards. Um, cool, cool. Now, Nimrod, if you like Nimrod, which I don't know why you wouldn't. You want him at SIG 200. It increases his damage very nicely. Um, I finally, I had been working on him slowly, and I finally got him to 200, especially against mutants. Woo! Papetto! Congratulations, man. Let's see, is there anybody else? 
<laughs> Agroman. That's what's up. Uh, who's that? Gideon Elsa? Oh, no, Elisa. Gideon Elisa. Thunderbolts. You know that makes me think of Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Oh, I love that show. Uh, Saitama, congratulations. Did you guys ever see the um, remake they did of it? They, I, I think they got a little bit too serious. And that's something that I've seen in remakes. The cartoons and anime that I watched when I was a kid um, tended to be more fun and lighthearted. You know, you watch it and it's fun, it's action, and you know, it's not too deep. There's not a lot of drama. But when they do a remake, they seem to want to do that. I watched a, you know, a remake of uh, He-Man. It started out with He-Man and Skeletor fighting and then disappearing. And everybody thinking that they're, you know, dead. And the king and the queen, you know, the king is still unaware that that's his son, but the queen knew. And she's over there boohooing and crying. And finally, the secret came out. And um, I think, who was it? Tila or whatever. She left in a huff. She said, you guys didn't even trust me enough for this thing. So it was a lot of drama right from the first episode. And I said, okay, so this is not one I'm going to be watching. I didn't, I didn't come to watch He-Man for the soap opera, you know. Um, and there's another one that's a little bit more lighthearted, but I never really got into it. They also did that with She-Ra. Usually um, they start trying to make political statements, if you know what I mean, uh, instead of just making a nice, you know, remake of something. They turn it into something else. And I was like, you know what? I don't need this. I, I can just play my games and then we we be fine. We fine. We good. Um, but some they did a good job. Now the Thundercats one went more in depth, and I actually liked it. It was a little more serious, and it fleshed out the storyline, which you didn't really get in the original. But apparently nobody else did, and it just left. I was watching it. I actually enjoyed it, but I guess not. So the ones that I don't like, that's the ones that make it. And the ones I'm actually liking, they're like, oh, no, we can't do that. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Quick video. Well, not quick video, but a shorter video than usual. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.